Now we want to generate the actual code, so generating the domain classes. Java code for this, we go back to the uh, gen model. This is already here. Um, and we can right click on the root node, so this web page thing here, and we can say generate model code. And that's going to create a new, um, a new source folder here, uh, source gen. And then maybe we go to the Java perspective where it's a bit nicer to see the code. So all this code here, uh, you will see the resemblance uh, to the elements maybe in our in our class diagram also. This is the code generated for the classes in the class diagram. So we have a few packages. We have the package here with a bunch of interfaces that correspond to the class names. Then we have an implementation package um, where, where we have the concrete implementation of the interfaces as they were defined. So here, uh, the article interface, this is the outline, um, just says getters and setters for the attribute created that we added. But the attribute isn't actually here because it's just an interface. And then in the article implementation, this is where we have uh, the actual attribute. And uh, then we should have also implementations of uh, the getters and setters for this attribute. And we have a few things more uh, because EMF generates uh, a few other things to better work with uh, the generated code. For example, when it comes to creating editors for it or uh, supporting the reflective API of EMF, where you can look at the structure of the elements programmatically. And then there's the util. So there are some uh, some other stuff generated that we might use later for working with these classes in a, in a programmatic way. <clears throat> Okay, then if we want to update the model, um, we might have to reload the gen model. So let's say we are now adding uh, some of the missing attributes because we forgot them. Uh, we might go back to our class diagram and check what else did we have in, uh, in, in the web. In web, we had an attribute of keywords. So let's add this attribute here. Keywords of again e string then uh, we want to generate the code again uh, we, we go back to our gen model here okay and then we also want to reload the eco model that is attached to it uh, we can just click next next here and just continue because it, it's the default. We didn't change anything uh, of what model we are referring to in this gen model. Uh, so now this is reloaded. We see the, the new element here. And if we want to regenerate the code, we simply say uh, generate us the model code again. And then this code will be changed. And um, in web, the interface, we now see the getters and setters. And in the implementation, we should now see the actual attribute, keywords. Yep, it's there. 